Okay? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Philosophical Effery. Well, we tell me about Philosophical Effery. And I wanted to talk really quickly about the your latest fresh and fit scenario with the shorter one. I'm not sure. I think his name is Fresh. Only because he obviously isn't fit, so he would go with a name like Fresh. But whatever his name is, he's the short dude. He's the guy that's always, you, you, you know, talking like 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 this on the show. You know, uh, to be the opposite of Myron. Kind. Of, it's kind of funny how he really is the opposite, though. You if you think about it, like he's short, he's dark, he has way less game, and he has way less accomplishments. Than Myron and everything. Sometimes I really think Myron kind of has him on the show to basically be the guy that makes him look good. But anyways, so if you don't know Fresh and Fit, they're a podcast channel where they're one of these channels where the their whole shtick is using keywords and bub words from the Red Pill community and having promiscuous looking and acting women on the show so that they can essentially pwn them. Uh, on live and they generally just their goal is to kind of make guys be more manually and masculine really by using this farce of an idea of what a man is and to them basically a man is just a dude who dominates the whores who dominates the maidens and you know has a lot of sex and makes a lot of money and that's basically it and the thing is right the issue is Fresh ended up getting a streetwalker from China pregnant. Uh, I don't know who her name is, but I don't care. But basically, she's one of these, you know, uh, Transformers type of girls who get their body edited solely for the purpose of getting a guy like Fresh. And he got her pregnant, supposedly. Though. We're not officially sure, but all I gotta say is if that baby comes out brown, probably is <laughs> because she's Chinese and Chinese people... Uh, basically have powdered donuts for kids so um the thing that makes this really sad and also predictable is the fact that see on this channel these guys love talking down on women most notably they basically they tell women that if they don't give up their sexual you know guys sexual access early while they have no bodies they end up becoming more valuable which, for the most part, is true. Uh, a virgin girl definitely becomes more valuable to guys that aren't really players. But it's funny, though, because the thing is, it's like, to a dude that wants to have sex with a lot of women, virgins are actually some of the most, like, the least valuable women. And trust me, I know, because they don't have the experience. They don't have the, the gung-ho-ness for it. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They're prone to mistakes. They're also usually prone to getting scared. There's also the, the, the breaching in the first place, and then there's the emotional attachment. For a lot of guys, uh, virgins really are not fun to have with. For a lot of guys who want to get with a girl, though, a virgin, I wouldn't say it's the best kind of girl you can get because just because she's a virgin, that doesn't mean she can't be stupid. Doesn't mean she can't be greedy. Doesn't mean she won't leave you for another dude later after you take her virginity. But in general, these guys essentially say that whores are not valued because they give their bodies to a lot of men but these same men want these whores bodies and they're basically hypocrites because that's all they ever tell the women on the show just go watch the show it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over again the only thing that changes is the hose <laughs> like literally they'll have a panel be about 10 girls some of them ugly, some of them fine as all heck, and some of them just run of the mill, but they just got on promiscuous clothing, so they look really nice. And they're just constantly telling these girls, you know, the, a master key unlocks all doors, but, you know, uh, a door to unlock by every key is worthless and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, they want these women, you know? And so it's crazy. How can you tell a woman to, if they basically want a good man, one of the things they gotta do is stop giving up their body, which is true. But at the same time, Myron, for example, has been outed on the show through someone's DMs as trying to coerce women into sexual favors to be on the show. So 
most basically you can tell in the show that there's probably a couple of girls that have slept with that guy to get on the channel and if we go back to the main thing with fresh getting this chick pregnant it just kind of shows me how 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 utterly lost a lot of guys are and the very fact of the matter is that yeah, men need to we need to change the way we think about sex in general it is not masculine to have sex with a lot of women it is masculine to be able to have multiple wives and maintain a household though which these guys theoretically could do if they really wanted because they're rich they're really rich they may not be you know warren buffett but they probably they probably make an nba uh a G, they make more than a g leaguer probably right in the nba and my whole thing is they don't have the gravitas and the with the the, the discipline to even have two wives at the same time because they, this is the thing too right they they constantly talk to these women and constantly talk to them about how men will view this and men will view this but it's like you guys are getting old you're you're in your 30s you will soon be in your 40s and trust me uh usually when you the the richer you are i would say the less stressful in general it can be to have kids in this kind of environment because things are so expensive so if you can afford the expenses of the world you generally can do a bit more for your kids now that isn't to say you might not have time for them and everything because sometimes your work might take their time but these guys have the resources to be able to find a woman easily and wipe her down all they have to do really is they just go to an event uh go to have go go take a trip to charlotte go to watch a hornets game or go to a jazz festival easy easy but but you see these guys constantly are sleeping with and going out with and dating and whining dining instagram model chicks and everything and it defeats the, it really defeats the whole point of the show which is why the people watching it and the people who are fans and super chatting them are idiots because they're constantly telling you in a way they are proving themselves to a degree that yeah you know women want the top 20 percent of dudes and blah, blah blah and they do count in that top 20 percent but what they're not really letting you know is that these women really want the top 20 percent of f boys because they're only really talking about one group of women which are hoes and people really kind of don't understand that either is that most women would take the top 20 percent of men the same way as most men will take the top 20 percent of women at the same time most women really would just take any guy who they may not be the most financially stable but if they combine their incomes they can be somewhat stable most women really are looking for a guy to help them stay in a one-bedroom apartment with no roommates i'm gonna tell you that now same thing with my wife if you can help her get into a one-bedroom apartment you're probably halfway in there already and then you all you really gotta do is be motivated you gotta be funny you gotta be inspiring uh you know just basically be the kind of guy that gives her hope for the future you just have to give her hope for the most part and i i summarize it as hope because i basically condensed it's a lot of things else that goes into it but that's for another video i'm condensing it these guys don't give these women hope that's why fresh wants her to abort the child that's why martin is dangling internet clout tokens for you know his his peace you know these guys don't give women hope they don't give them peace they don't give them good advice but yet constantly men are following their lead because they have money and because they have a lot of sex real men have sex with their wives real men do not coerce women into sex at the very least, if they're going to get sex from women, they're going to be who they are. They're going to let the woman be who she is. And they're going to come to an agreement without having any caveats. It's going to be, I like you, you like me, bounce chicka Uh What other points I got to make about this? So my final point, I kind of want to state about this is what you can really learn from this scenario. See, Fresh may never get it because he has the internet giving him validation the money is giving him validation and the women are giving him validation the myron thing was a strike in itself already because 
that basically lets you know that without this channel and without them lying to all these men, they're not getting any of these women. But for Fresh to get her pregnant, you can't take anything he says seriously anymore. You know, because all he is is a pervert. I'm telling you this now, like, if you just fucking women all randomly, like, they, they, and they love to preach that. They love to preach that a guy can go sleep with women and that's okay and a woman sleeping with men is not okay no a guy sleeping with women is just as not as okay because guess what that guy could get other women pregnant and basically ruin their and the kids lives at times and they can also spread sexually transmitted diseases they can also just in general hurt women's feelings and sometimes hurt their own feelings falling from women they can't stay with fresh can't keep it in his pants uh he he has no discipline you know what we're seeing is in this environment is that we're seeing a lot of people with no kind of discipline get money because now in this social media environment it's beyond the internet in the social media environment you don't have to be a well actually you've never had to be a good person to make money but in the past you had to be a disciplined person sometimes you had to be smart but if you weren't the smartest then you had to be well connected and usually from those connections you still needed to exercise uh, some couthness about yourself. You had to really think about your image. You had to really think about the things you were getting into. You had to, you, you had to have some tact in the past to be really successful and get money. But now with the way this internet thing is, you just have to be a goofball and you just have to lie to people straight up. They're not even really selling a real product too. It's crazy. They're making a lot of money from just rapping basically because a rap is a talk. And they just talking and throwing things in the air and people are looking in real time and seeing these guys are not following anything they're saying or at least properly because they are following in terms of yep yeah, i'm a guy with a lot of money i'm gonna have a lot of sex but at the same time they're not following it from a oh well i'm a high value male and i want these high value women like it's crazy how you ever notice how all these quote unquote red pill high value guys they always talk about women and they love saying that we're always, I'm going to get divorced now, but, but it's like, bro, you, if you really can't keep a wife and you can't raise a family, um, then you guys really aren't doing much for society because the only thing you guys are doing really too is telling other guys not to have families and just sleep with women. But like that usually is what people in a society that has failed and completely given up has done. I'm the kind of person that will encourage you. And I understand a lot, of, you know, a lot of you guys will think. Uh, getting married is not the best, not an option. Well, you don't have to get married by the court system. You can just have a girlfriend. Of course, that does have, they call that, what do they call that? A same household marriage, a same house marriage. Some states like Florida, if she lives with you long enough, they just consider her your wife. But that's how it was in the past. In the past, you couldn't just take a woman and be like, I like you, I'm done with you, unless you were pillaging their, uh, pillaging their village, you know? In the past, usually, if you wanted a woman and you wanted to get with her, that was going to be your wife. And these guys can have multiple wives. I don't understand why it's like, bro, just have one or two wives. No, not one or two wives. There's one wife. Have two, three, five at max. Have you a little stable and be satisfied. Like, how many girls has Fresh been with now at this point? You could probably get, I mean, in my opinion, probably at least at least 50. I don't think it was less than that because he does like to date girls a little bit. So he has to take some time out of his day to, you know, simp for him. But at least 50, you know, maybe 100. At some point, when did you satisfy? This is also how a lot of dudes end up be going bisexual in the entertainment industry. They just get too much of a good thing. You know, it's never good for us. You know, all that uh, all that kitty water, you're going to drown in it. And this dude, he, he was drowning in that thing. He was drowning right in the Shengzhou River. Um, but anyways... Hope you guys uh, learned something from this scenario. And don't be like uh, fresh, please, because it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Keep your peace of mind.